Guys, we need to talk. Hitscan enemies were not bad in Classic Doom. They were an absolutely integral part of the games. And pushing all the blame on them by saying that they ruined the fun or were an archaic design decision does them an absolute disservice. Hitscans in Doom were usually easy to kill, but could do terrifying amounts of damage if you didn't pay attention. Even with a random bullet spread, they remained a threat at even longer distances. Hands up if you ever got sniped across the map by a zombie man. But that made it very important for you to take them out as quickly as possible, so that they wouldn't be an issue later on. Nudum, on the other hand, doesn't have Hitscan at all anymore. But in my opinion, that just means that smaller enemies don't really have a role anymore. They're just kinda Goombas. They're there, they're weak, you kill them, that's it. In classic Doom though, oh boy let me tell you. They may be small, they may be slow, they may be dumb. But unlike Imps, whose fireballs you can evade, with Hitscan it's not up to you if they hit or miss. Sure, that shotgunner may seem cute from a distance. But he stops being cute when you're trying to juggle 5 different Imps to Kakodemons and Hell Knight, because while you're trying to play dodgeball with all those projectiles, he keeps turning you into a kitchen strainer. Doom is about movement, yes, it's right there in the name, minus the majority of letters. But it's also about positioning and prioritizing enemies. Even if they're weak, unattended hit scans will be a problem in the future. Chain gunners are pretty much the poster boy for that. They have way more HP compared to the other zombies, and they can drain yours faster than you can say what the hell they're rare Kasali. But they aren't unfair. They stand completely still while shooting, making them a giant target. Their power gets balanced out by their lack of mobility. Now where have I heard that before? And now let's get to Doom's most infamous baddie, the Archvile. Guess what? They aren't actually bad. Did you know that their death sounds is just a pitch shifted young girl saying why? That's because it doesn't understand why you're harming it, it was just following orders, actually I shouldn't talk about that. Alright, they're very fast, I'll give you that. And they have a ton of HP. And they do a ton of damage, and any range, even with armor, and they revive enemies. And the chance of finishing when taking damage is the lowest out of all the enemies. But how often do they even appear in the games? In Doom 2, an average of 15 times. They are powerful special enemies that get balanced out by not appearing all that often. Even in TNT, they only appear up to 38 times. And in Plutonia, it's at most only 99 times. What the hell, Dario Casali? But it's not their fault that map creators put way too many of them in a level, or put them in rooms with too many other enemies just because they don't understand how they work. That would be like claiming the Spider Mastermind or Cyber Demon RP, because some level creators put them in small rooms with no cover. The problem isn't with these types of enemies themselves, it's with how they're utilized. Sure, putting hundreds of them in a level makes those levels harder, but it's a cheap difficulty. Archvals should be treated like mini bosses, not like regular enemies. And hitscan enemies should be positioned in such a way that they're not annoying to take out, but will still stay a problem if not taken care of. And for that, maybe you could finally use that one power up that no map maker ever uses. Partial invisibility. Yes, it makes projectiles more difficult to dodge, but it absolutely obliterates the aim of hitscans. Instead of trashing on those two very valid enemies, we should instead divert our attention to the real evil. The pain elemental. Sure, the balance and don't appear often, blah blah blah, but they're so annoying. You don't kill them, they keep fighting out the most annoying enemy in the game. You do kill them and they release three of them at once. Yeah, yeah, I know, they're a special enemy that has to be killed as soon as possible so that they don't fill the room with more enemies. But there's a reason no one ever uses them in their wards. They're not even an original design, they're just rip-offs of other enemies. And another thing. Juan Truma, 44, Alexis Chavez, Ben Isaacson, Frozen Spaghetti, House, Oleg Endrev, Ren Marty, Shuri, The Sad Boo, Zachary Leclerc, and unfortunately not as always anymore, Xenomite. Thank you so so much for supporting me and my channel, it just means so much. And I'd like to thank you too very much for watching, have a wonderful day and goodbye.